Correlations Introductory Psychology Concepts Is shoe size related to intelligence? Is height related to vocabulary? Is hairiness related to aggression? Are these things really related? In what way? Correlation measures the relationship between variables. Is X related to Y? Is a good grade on an exam, or X, related to studying, or Y? Is sugar consumption, or X, related to increased activity in children, or Y? Is there a correlation between alcohol consumption, or X, and motor skills, or Y? There are two types of correlations, positive and negative. In the case of a positive correlation, both variables, X and Y, move in the same direction. For example, the higher the education, or X, the higher the income, or Y. Or, the lower the study time, or X, the lower the test score, or Y. In the case of a negative correlation, both variables, X and Y, move in opposite directions to each other. As one variable increases, the other decreases. For example, as alcohol consumption, or X, increases, the subject's motor skills, or Y, decreases. Similarly, with an increase in amount of exercise, or X, we might observe a decrease in our subject's body weight, or Y. Caution. Correlation does not equal causation. Though X may be related to Y, it doesn't necessarily cause Y. There could be a third variable, or a Z. Correlation does not equal causation. Is hairiness related to aggression? Though the correlation may exist in many cases, we cannot assume causation. Instead, a third variable, testosterone, may be the reason that the man is not only more aggressive, but also more hairy. Recap. Correlations. Correlation measures the relationship between variables and asks the question, is X related to Y? The two types of correlations are positive and negative. Positive correlations involve both variables, X and Y, moving in the same direction. Negative correlations involve both variables, X and Y, moving in opposite directions. Remember, correlation does not equal causation.